Hello again. Today I'd like to talk about songwriting or, or coming up with a chord progression. And I don't think there's any one way that you can teach writing chords. I think basically it comes down to studying how chords work and realizing the different uh, root movement, which comes out of one of three things. Scalar motion, chordal motion, and thirds, or following the circle of fifths. And instead of doing a, a lesson on writing chords, I'll do a separate one on that. What I want to do today is look at something I came up with today. We'll take a look at the piece that I'm currently writing on, and I will show you the, the things that I went through to come up with the chord progression that I'm working on at the moment. I just finished a lesson. Uh, in which we were looking at lines. One of my students is just getting the two hands together thing happening. And so I was going to come up with some exercises in which one of the hands basically plays through the scale while the other hand is doing some chord changes. And I was looking at the old classic going down through the scale. Um, and when you do that with chords, You eventually hit that point with the two chord if you go down to the one then it becomes a sucky line because you're just playing through the scale so at that point you have to change it and the easiest thing to do is to jump up go down the fifth to the five and then that leads you back to the one that kind of thing and so the next thing I started looking at was to fix up these chord changes, because I don't like the 7 right there, right off the top. And the traditional thing to do is to play the 5, maybe in first inversion. I didn't care much for that. You can use the A minor. So I went through a whole bunch of different chords. I, I tried reharmonizing all these different chords and came up with And then I started thinking of other ways to change that line. I thought, okay, well, reharmonization. What if we made everything a primary triad? So only one, four, and five. In this case, C, F, and G. So that would turn the line C in root position, and then G in first inversion, F in first inversion, and then G in root position, F in root position. E, uh, C in first inversion, and then D in root position, and go up to G. That was kind of easy. It's pretty much reworking Pachelbel's canon. So I thought of, okay, how can I change that? And the first thing I thought was at the very end, instead of just the G, we'll go a sus. And I like that. And I started thinking, okay, I wonder if I could put the sus in someplace else. And so I tried different chord changes and put it in different places. And I thought, what if we went to the extreme and I put it in everywhere on every single change? We make every change an actual sus to resolution, sus to resolution as we go through the chords. And it ended up sounding like this. I kind of like that. And so th I played it through a few times. There's something I didn't like about the E sus. Uh, I said, what if you put the, uh, the primary tri in, triad in there? What if we went to the C? Uh, for, or the, and that, then you end up with the third in the bottom and the sus in the right hand. But, I mean, when you just sit on the chord like that, it's pretty tense. But when you put it in the progression, right after that F with the sharp four sus, I like that. 
So I decided, okay, let's make that a thing. And so we repeated it over and over and over and over, and it got boring, so I needed to break it up somehow. Uh, and the first thing I tried is, well, let's go to the four. And I made it a major seven. And I thought, let's go to the subdominant minor. And I did that over and over a couple of times, and then, well, that's got to go either the five or the one, so we go to the C. And I thought, oh, what if I did the same thing on the one? And then I played it through a few times, and I thought, oh, it needs some kind of a cadence. So we do the F, and then it goes to the C. And then the traditional thing would be to go to the 5. I said, well, what if you suss it? And I remember one of my students saying something about the 1 sus, or, or, or diff, talking about different ways of using the sus 5, and I thought, okay, well, what if I change that? I use the 1 top of the five, which is basically the same chord, so I thought, okay, what if I change the bass note? And so I'll use that as my cadence. So do sus, resolution, in the back of the sus, I change the bass note. And I thought, okay, well, that's kind of neat. So I turned that into a tune and did a little demo of it. And then once you do the demo, then I can hear the whole thing together and then I'll work out an arrangement for it. But here's what I have so far. Okay, so to demo the tune, what I did was I recorded the piano part with the bass accompaniment, just going through the changes, and then I added a couple of instruments playing the line. So I played that twice, and then I started working on the chorus. I added a little vibraphone part, and then a couple of low strings playing an ostinato. Then I doubled those and added a melodica part. So here's the demo. It's got uh, a piano part and the vibraphone part. And then here we have the clarinet, two flutes, uh, violin tracks, viola tracks, cello track, and the bass track.
So that's the demo for the piece, quickly slapped together. Um, not that quick, I spent a few hours on it putting the strings and all the extra background parts. Usually I wouldn't do that for a demo, I just put the bass line, the piano part and a melody thing, maybe a little background thing. Uh, but the neighbors were quiet so I just decided to record for a while. Now the thing to do is to uh, write a melody, uh, perhaps lyrics if it's going to be a song and if not then it's going to have to have some strong enough melody and a solo section. Um, pick a style, it could change the tempo. There are a couple of the chords that are a little quirky and if I'm going to turn this into an actual tune I'll probably change them. I don't like the sus resolution on absolutely every chord. Um, but that's something that will have to be worked on in the arrangement and uh, when I eventually, if I eventually turn this into something, I will put a little uh, link down here to the finished tune. And, and that whole process there took me about a day and a half. Uh, I started it Sunday evening, uh, probably a, a full 20 hour day um, to put together the tune and this video. The actual demo itself of the tune probably took about three hours. Um, so that's what I was working on this weekend.